been here 23 years and this is the first time. But. Another jewelry store robbery in Boardman. This time, police say the suspect smashed in the glass front door. It's the third jewelry store breaking in the past month and the second in two nights. And this time, it was at the direct jewelry store outlet on 224 across from the Mill Creek Golf Course. 27 First News reporter Greta Mediterator spoke with the store's owner and investigators. She has tonight's top story. There was a lot of glass to clean up at the direct jewelry outlet in Boardman today after police say someone broke in around 2.30 this morning. The one last night, the, the front door was actually broken out, and, and in the previous ones, the locks had been pulled. But there did appear to be some damage on the lock at the, from the one last night, too. So they may or may not be related at this point. Inside, police found glass all over the floor from the broken tops of four jewelry cases. Officers and police dogs tried to track the suspect through the woods across the street and onto the Mill Creek Golf Course. They had a trail of merchandise that the individual was dropping and they were following it with police dogs. And police say the dogs found a bandana and some watches. The store's owner estimates the suspect stole at least $1,000 in items. We have to go through every piece of merchandise and then figure out from which part of the store we, we had it. And, is it in our inventory or out of our inventory now because we took it? Chief Nichols says his officers will now be paying closer attention to jewelry stores. He's also asking the public for help. These types of crimes all involve a suspicious person being around the area of a jewelry store at late at night. So if people observe any of that type of activity, um, call the police department right away. We're lucky to have the police we do. They're so professional and uh, I, I think they'll probably catch them. Reporting in Boardman, I'm Greta Mitterrader, WKBN 27 First News.